Welcome all. Now I am going to discuss question number 48 from the gate 2017 set 1 electrical engineering. The question is a 3 phase 3 winding delta by delta by star 1.1 kV by 6.6 .6 kV by 400 volts transformer is energized from AC mains at the 1.1 kV site. It supplies 900 kV a load at 0.8 power factor lag from the 6.6 .6 kV winding and 300 kV a load at 0.6 power factor lag from the 400 volts winding. The RMS line current in amperes drawn by the 1.1 kV winding from the mains is. To know the detailed modeling of single phase transformers, Audience can go through the given NPTEL video link. Let us discuss some useful information to solve the problem. Transformer is an electromagnetic circuit that links the source and the load via magnetic coupling. The below are the equations that governs the transformer modeling. Here, VP is the primary EMF induced in the primary winding. Vs is the EMF induced in the secondary winding. And these two equations are modeled according to the Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. By taking the ratio of Vp and Vs, we get Vp by Vs is equal to Np by Ns, where Np is the number of turns of the primary winding and Ns is the number of turns in the secondary winding. For an ideal transformer, if there is no magnetic and resistance losses, power supplied is equal to the power delivered. So, Vp into Ip is equal to Vs into Is. So, from this we can say that Vp by Vs is equal to Is by Ip. So, using this information let us solve the problem see in the question it is given that delta by delta by star transformers this is the transformer this one is delta and this voltage is 1.1 kV and the secondary windings are 6.6 .6 kV and 400 kV, 400 volts. And it is said that it is energized from the 1.1 kV side and it supplies 900 kVA and it supplies 900 kVA at 0.8 power factor lag from the 6.6 .6 kV winding. This is 6.6 .6 kV winding and this is delta connected and the other one is star connected and the load at this is 300 kVA at 0.6 power factor lag. So, what we need to find out is the RMS line current. RMS line current drawn from the primary side we need to find out. So, what is the procedure to calculate is first with this given load data we will find out the current drawn by this load from this binding. This is line current. Similarly, this line current also we need to find out. We will say this as IL1, this as IL2, otherwise this as IL2, this as IL3. So, after finding the line current, we will, we should find out the phase current. Phase current of the secondary winding and phase current of the 
after reshare binding after finding out this we will add these two phase current then we will get the total phase current that is i phase 2 plus i phase 3 this is equal to the i phase 1 so we will get then i phase 1 after that we need to find out the line current drawn by the primary winding yeah this is the procedure we are going to follow to solve the problem so I L two we will find out first. I L two is equal to power divided by root three into V L. So power is how much? Nine hundred K V. Nine hundred into ten cube divided by root three into V L is how much? V L is Six point six kV. So if we simplify, we will get I L two as seventy-eight point seven two nine amperes. So this is delta connected, right? This winding is in delta connection. Phase current as line current. Divided by root three. So seventy-eight point seven two nine divided by root three. Here we forgot to add the load angle. That is minus cos inverse of zero point eight. So this is how much? Minus thirty six point eight seven. Cos inverse of zero point is thirty six point eight seven. At an angle of minus thirty six point eight seven, which is equal to forty five point four five at an angle of minus thirty six point eight seven degrees. similarly we should find out the line current of the tertiary winding and the tertiary winding is star connected il3 is equal to s by root 3 into vl s is how much 300 kva so 300 into 10 cube divided by root 3 into 400 this is how much 433.01 amperes and in the star connection i phase current and i line current are same which is equal to 433.01 amps only so we find out the i phase 2 and we found out the i phase 3 but to calculate the phase current of the primary side we should incorporate a transformer ratio k so now we will find out that is i phase 2 Into y two into v two by v one. That is, I phase two is how much? Forty five point four five at an angle of 
minus 36.87 into V2 is how much? 6.6 kV, right? Yeah. Divided by V1 is 1.1 kV. So, if we simplify, we get this one as 272.7 at an angle of minus 36.87 degrees. This is similarly, for the tertiary winding, I phase 3 into V3 by V1. That is, I phase 3 is how much? 433.01 at an angle of minus 53.13. Here we forgot to take the power factor that is minus cos inverse of 0 0.6. That is how much? Minus 53.13 degrees. So this one is 433.01 at an angle of minus 53.13 degrees. So, into V3. V3 is what? V3 is tertiary winding, right? In tertiary winding, VL is equal to root 3 into PPH because tertiary winding is star connected. But, to include as a transformer K ratio, we should always consider the phase values. So, V phase 3 is equal to VL by VL3 by root 3. So, in st here V3 means we need to consider phase voltages. So, 400 divided by root 3 by V1 is how much? 1.1 kV. 1.1 kV. If we if we simplify this thing, we get this one as 90.91 at an angle of minus 53.13 degrees. Now we found out the values of I phase 3 dash and also I phase 2 dash. Here I phase 2 dash, I phase 3 dash included the transformers findings ratio. We should, we should add this I phase 2 dash plus I phase 3 dash. That is 272.7 at an angle of minus 36.87 degrees plus 90.91 at an angle of minus 53.13 degrees. So, after further simplification, we get this one as 360.87 at an angle of minus 40.91 degrees. This is the phase current of the primary winding. In the question it is asked to find out the line current and the primary winding is delta connected. In delta connection VL is equal to V phase. Line voltage is equal to phase voltage and the line current is equal to root 3 times into the phase current. So, this is the phase current of the primary winding. So, to get line current, IL1 is equal to root 3 into IPH1. That is root 3 into 360.87 at an angle of minus 40.91. So, that is 625.05 at an angle of 
minus 40.91 degrees. So this much of the primary line current it is drawing from the supply because of the tertiary and the secondary loads. So the RMS line current in amperes is 625.05 which is lies in the range of 623 to 627. Thank you.